Is Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour banning forward-facing sonar? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you like this kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the new subscribers, the people who comment every day and on every video, and just the people who keep this channel moving forward. I really do appreciate you. It's been overwhelming and it's really been... It's, it's, hum, it's a humbling experience to see a lot of people enjoy what you do and then comment and be part of the group and the family that I have here. And if you're watching this, your family. Is Major League Fishing going to ban forward-facing sonar? Well, the rumor mill in ICAST and after ICAST is that a decision is going to be made in September. But is it going to be for some events or just a few events or is it going to be a complete ban? And could this be true? Now the rumor mill started while ICAST was going. There was uh, an individual who was in the invitationals who posted something saying that he had heard the rumors that Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour was going to outright ban forward-facing sonar. And then the great Bass Boat Central forum caught wind of it and they went crazy and I should say it was a good crazy because a lot of people that are on the Bass Boat Central are very knowledgeable and they have a different opinion and view and it gives you a good insight on where everybody is, where the fans are, where the, the diehard fans are and it's a really good place to see what the fans perspective is. Now removing forward facing sonar brings up a lot of questions. What are the ramifications of this historic move? And you're going to have lots of people or one person, Randy, no offense to Randy, this is not throwing shade at Randy at all, that is going to tell you this is because of him. And he has been on a quest for conservation and to talk about what the problems are with forward-facing sonar. And we're going to play good cop, bad cop in this video. And it's not about any organization in particular, but I think if we go down this road, it opens up a lot of side roads that could hurt professional fishing. And I want to be very clear, because I don't want to see any comments. I am not a fan of watching forward-facing sonar and an angler using it to go fishing. I don't like it personally. I think that in the past we've had an, good anglers that get on the front of the boat and talk you through what they're doing. And I mean no disrespect to any anglers, but when you have forward-facing sonar, a lot of anglers can't multitask. And by this it means they can't cast, they can't watch the screen, and they can't focus on what they should be saying to the camera and behind them. And when they can't do that, it's just boring to watch. But that's my opinion. Now we have to play the good cop, bad cop. If they ban forward-facing sonar, what are the repercussions? First off, money is a big thing. I think money is the main thing that the organizations are dealing with. I had an angler tell me, and I quote, it's a weird scenario because we are paying customers, paying for the platform more than anything. And that is exactly right. Anglers are paying to play. And while forward-facing sonar is not what a lot of fans like to see, forward-facing sonar allows anglers to catch more fish, or at least see the fish and then have a better idea on what they're eating or what their size are and so forth. But it helps catch more fish. And in a place and time where we're watching and want stuff as fast as possible, if we have lulls in, the, in fishing, we're going to turn it off and not watch. And while you might not like forward-facing sonar or you just love it, if the anglers aren't catching fish, we're not watching it. And if we're not watching it, it affects the organizations. And the organizations are trying to put out the best platform or the best experience for the fan. Because as another quote that I got was that the sport and the leagues are for the fans. The organizations do not own an angler anything to make a living. Take, let that sink in. The organizations are for the fan experience and if the fans aren't watching it then they need to make a change. Now that change could be forward-facing sonar but when we start going down that road that rock slide of banning one thing could stem out to other things and I think that's where we could get ourselves in trouble. And again I am not for forward-facing sonar but if I was a pro I would know it better than anything. I believe viewership is the reason why, if anything happens with, with forward-facing sonar, viewership is the why they'll make a change. 
And making that change is going to cost them money. It's going to cost the anglers money. So having this or making this change is really crucial and important to make the proper decision. Because in my opinion, the youth anglers are not watching fishing anymore. They want things in that TikTok era. They want things that are 15 to 20 seconds. I can't even tell you how much information I know about short videos and how one will get more views versus another over one or two seconds in time. That's how crucial it is to have the right amount of time in the videos that you do or in the short videos that you do. And we, as the fans and parents, have created this monster. We've allowed our youth to feel entitled and want things at a faster pace. And fishing isn't fast. That's the problem with fishing. You can take someone fishing that's new, and if you not, or you're not on fire, that person's going to lose it. And we've lost a lot of fishing sales and fishing revenue after COVID. And we've slowly seen this whole thing transcend and get worse and worse as it goes on. And I'm not sure that banning forward-facing sonar is the way to go. And if we're looking at the good and bad, tackle sales has drastically decreased in certain areas because of forward-facing sonar. Little, whoever thought that little jigs and little lures this big soft plastics would be where the fishing industry is right now. We're making lures now for forward-facing sonar. So if we ban forward-facing sonar in the professional tournaments, how does that react to what's going on in the lure industry? Because if you stop something up here, the effect happens over here, and we have to remember that. And where does the organizations make up for that lost revenue? And I'm not sure if reducing the screen size or transducers actually helps. And by this I mean, I think that if you have it dialed in properly, having a smaller screen that isn't 16 and it goes to 14 or 12, doesn't mean it's going to make your fishing any worse or having less transducers. It will help the anglers because they won't have to spend as much money, but I think reducing the transducers and the screen size is just something that not only won't work, but it doesn't make the fans any happier. And we must remember, an angler is a marketing agency for his sponsors. Not only does he have to catch fish, but he needs to be up there so that he's getting the recognition that he wants or the camera person on his boat or the way to propose or show his sponsors why he is worth the money that they are spending on him. And anglers aren't looking for their tournament winnings to help make or make them. They're looking for sponsors that they can have and promote. Having sponsors is as crucial as anything, probably the most crucial thing for most anglers, because we're seeing now or hearing now how expensive it is to be a professional angler. And we don't want professional fishing to become an elite sport or hobby. So here's a few questions I have for you. If they ban or change forward facing sonar requirements, will that allow you to, will that make you watch more fishing? If the organizations reduce the transducers and the, the screen size, does that make you as a, a fan and a watcher happier? Because really what this comes down to is our viewership is how they are going to make these changes. They'll either make the changes because they see a drop in viewership or they won't because there is no drop. And while people are gonna take credit for the change, it comes down to what we do as fans. It's a fan experience. So tell me what you think. What would make you happy and make you enjoy watching bass fishing again? So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks again for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate you all. I hope you have a good day. Tight lines and cheers.